So hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is Dr. Shankar Raja, a doctor of pharmacy from India. If you are new here, I post regularly videos on pharmacy, medical and other related topics mainly in Tamil and occasionally in English. If you find these videos helpful and you know what to do, and it's been a long time since we posted a video in English and today I'm here with an interesting topic for you. I'm going to talk about my top three course suggestions for pharmacy masters in the United States. I'm going to share all the information regarding those courses, scope, job opportunities and the universities which are offering these specific courses. So without further ado, let's dive into the topic. Starting from the third, we have Masters in Regulatory Affairs. If you are not familiar with the Regulatory Affairs, Regulatory Affairs professionals play a crucial role in ensuring the compliance with government regulations with industries like pharmaceutical, biotechnological and medical devices. Next, we move on to Scope. Since the Regulatory Affairs professionals play a major role in the regulations and regulatory departments, the companies will use these professionals to regulate the complex regulations regulatory procedures. These professionals brings the company's product to the market while adhering to its safety and efficacy. The companies are expecting the regulatory affairs professionals to be strong adaptable to the evolving regulations and navigate the global markets. So what are all the job opportunities after completing the masters in regulatory affairs? So these are all the job opportunities available after completion of your masters in regulatory affairs. Please take a screenshot of it and make sure you use for your future references. So what are all the top universities which provides regulatory affairs courses in US? So these are all the top universities which provides regulatory affairs as a masters in US. So pass the screen and take a screenshot of it and make sure you use it for your future references. Okay, on the second place we are going to talk about health informatics. Probably many of us are new to this topic and health informatics is a field that deals with the informational technology to support and improve our overall health and public health. It has wide scope and career opportunities. Those who are interested in both health and informational technology can use this course for their masters. Scope Health informatics is majorly developing and rapidly changing day to day with the use of artificial intelligence and big data. In the upcoming years, the health informatics used to help the people by improving their day to day life and day to day health care. Jobs what are all the job opportunities you get after finishing the health informatics course as your masters? So these are all the job opportunities. So pass the screen and take a screenshot of it and make sure you use it for your future references. So what are all the universities which provides masters in health informatics? These are all the universities which provides masters degree in health informatics. Please pass the screen and take screenshot for your future references. Key note, please take this course uh, if you are only interested in computers and programming because it is programming intensified. So you need to develop your computer and soft skills to shine in this program. And it is the time for my top one suggestion. It is Masters in Pharmacology. Masters in Pharmacology is considered as a one of the most versatile courses in the pharmaceutical industry. In the US, it offers a broad range of opportunities such as in pharmaceutical companies, biotechnology companies, or else in a hospital sectors. There are definitely needs for pharmacologists across the US. So the scope for this course is totally high. Jobs. So these are the job opportunities you will get once you complete your master's in pharmacology. Please pass the screen and take a screenshot. Make sure to use it for your future references. Universities. So these are the top universities which provides pharmacology as masters. Please pass the screen and take screenshot of it and make sure you use it for your future references. These are not the only universities which provides masters program in regulatory affairs, health informatics and pharmacology. These are entirely based on my Google search and my friends and few consultancies. We are at the end of this video and I hope this video was helpful to you. If you have any doubts and queries, please ping me through my Instagram. Don't hesitate to text me. I will answer everyone and I will reply to everyone and I am happy to help you all. So thank you for sticking with me throughout the whole video and I will meet you all in another informative and useful video. So until then, take care.